Hello, my name is Janet Krish. I'm here with Brian Noble, and we are with USI Insurance Services. We are the broker and consultant for Support Services of Virginia, and we work in a collaborative effort with the team here to help develop a benefits package that meets all the health care reform compliance regulations and simultaneously make sure that it is the best comprehensive package for both you and your family. So welcome to Open Enrollment. Um, elections that you make today are effective December 1st, 2015. Your open enrollment period will run from today, October 30th, through Friday, November 6th. All your benefits will be effective December 1st, 2015, and run through November 30th, 2016. This is referred to as your plan year. Support Services of Virginia offers both you and your family a comprehensive benefits package we encourage you to review your benefit options so that you can choose the option that's most beneficial to you. All right, so how to enroll on this slide. So we encourage you to review the current elections that you have in place. All employees, regardless if you're enrolling for the first time, making a change, or simply just waiving coverage, must complete a benefit election form. So all employees must complete this form. If you are making a change to your health and or dental insurance, or if you are enrolling for the first time, you must also complete an Anthem health and or dental carrier enrollment form as well. Okay? Once you be able to make this, once you are able to make these changes, you cannot make a change again until next year's open enrollment unless you experience a qualifying change in status. It's important to note that these forms must be submitted to HR no later than Friday, November 6th. On the next slide here, you're going to see some examples of what a qualifying change in status is. As I mentioned before, once you enroll into the plans, unless you experience one of these qualifying life events, you're locked into your elections. If you experience a life event, such as marriage, divorce, birth or adoption of a child, or perhaps even your spouse's open enrollment, all those are considered eligible change in status. You have 30 days from the event of the event, the date of the event, excuse me, to notify your human resources so they in turn can notify the carriers to make that change. If you surpass that 30 days, you will be subject to waiting to next year's open enrollment. So we always suggest that if you know an event is coming up, um, you know your wife is pregnant, you have an expected due date, we encourage you to get with Human Resources, start filling out the forms that are needed, and then come closer to time when the baby is actually born, we can fill in the effective date. But that way it will alleviate you from having to worry about that paperwork um, while you're celebrating the birth of your child. Obviously some unforeseen um, circumstances do arise and we'll certainly um, work with you at that point as long as, again, we have that 30 days to submit to the insurance carrier. All right, next here, what's changing for 2015? So we're going to start with your health insurance plan. Um, we are still offering three health insurance policies. There are some changes to the plan designs, as you'll note here. You'll see the HMO Healthkeeper's Value Advantage plan. That is a 30-2030 plan now. You're going to have an HMO HSA plan in place still. And you'll also have a PPO key care option. Along with these plan design changes, which we will go into detail about, there are also some Anthem mandated changes that come across as well for all Anthem plans. Your dental insurance will remain with Anthem Dental. There's no plan design changes there. And then we have some exciting news that we'll be offering some supplemental health insurance products through Allstate as well. And those benefits will be effective January 1st of 2016. All right, so let's move on to the Anthem mandated changes. Um, again, just want to reiterate, these aren't subject to Support Services of Virginia or USI. They're global across all of Anthem's plan designs. They are effective December 1st, 2015. The first thing I want to point out is the out-of-pocket maximums. They're increasing by $1,000 for the individual and $2,000 for family. However, with that being said, another change that they are doing are combining the out-of-pocket maximums for your medical and your prescription. So currently you have two buckets in place. You have an out-of-pocket maximum for your medical insurance expenses and you have a separate bucket 
out-of-pocket maximum for your prescription. So now they're bringing them in collectively and you just have one bucket that you're working towards. So even though they're increasing those slightly, you're still working towards one out-of-pocket maximum. Once you reach that out-of-pocket maximum threshold on your plan, then everything's covered at 100%. One other change that they're doing is making a slight change to the structure of your prescription copayment tiers. So for example, you currently have three tiers in place. You have tier one, two, and three. So $10, $30, and your third tier currently is a $50 copay or 20% coinsurance. Essentially what they're doing is taking that 20% coinsurance, bumping it down to its own tier, and so that tier four will become the 20% coinsurance. Tier 4 is typically for your um, specialty drugs, which are prescriptions for multiple sclerosis, hepatitis C, rheumatoid arthritis, typically your higher cost prescription drugs. You will still have a cap on those plans of $250, um, but you still have that 20% coinsurance up into that amount, and that's per prescription. And then lastly down here, um, and you can review in more detail as they apply to you, there are some changes to the Mental Health Parity and Addiction Act. Um, some important things to note are nutritional counseling is now covered as needed for eating disorders. And some partial day treatments um, for substance abuse and the like, they are treated as outpatient facility charges. So wherever your outpatient facility um, you know, co-insurance, deductible, whatever it may be, that's how it'll apply to these types of services as well. And then lastly, the preventative care um, smoking cessation products. So Anthem and other insurance carriers allow up to two 90-day supply of a smoking cessation product that will help you quit smoking. Um, you would need to get a prescription from your doctor, go into the doctor, even if it's an over-the-counter product, they need to write it on their prescription pad. You take that prescription, bring it to the pharmacy, and then the pharmacy will fill it from that point. Now, if they give you a generic product, it will be covered at 100% underneath your plan because it's treated as preventative care. If it is a brand product, then it's subject to the applicable copay tier, um, tier copayment on your plan. So again, then the pharmacist will fill it at, at their discretion at that point.